Good morning, grade six. This is teacher Rana with you. I hope you are all doing well. I am very proud of your outstanding performance with my online classes. Today, we will be talking about adjectives and prepositions. So I want you to go to your learner's books, page 131, and let's start. Now, before we start doing our presentation for today, I want to, to remind you of what is an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun, tells how it looks, smells, sounds, feels, or tastes, and sometimes it tells how many. Now, some adjectives go with certain prepositions. The, there are no grammatical rules for which preposition is used with which adjective. So, it is a good idea to try to learn them together. So, I suggest to bring a notebook and a pencil and write down the new sentences or phrases to memorize them. Look at these. Uh, of course, now, I will show you some, um, some examples, but I want you to remember that a preposition is followed by a noun or a gerund with ing. So, Always after any proposition, preposition, sorry, you have to add an, I, an ing to the noun. Okay, let's start now. Let's see what adjectives comes with what adjectives come with the prepo, with the preposition at. We use at with adjectives like good, bad, amazing, brilliant, terrible, etc. To talk about skills and abilities, for example. He is really good at English. She is amazing at the piano. They are terrible at organizing anything. I'm not very good at drawing. Now, adjectives with about. We often use about with adjectives or feelings like angry, uh, being excited, happy, nervous, or being sad, stressed, or worried to explain what is causing that feeling now, for example here i'm angry about the decision or he's nervous about the presentation exactly like me she's excited about the new job they were worried about the exam then adjectives with of however sometimes we use of with feelings so, we always use of to describe our feelings. For example, here, she was afraid of telling her mom, I'm frightened of having an accident. He's scared of flying. You should be proud of your progress. Proposi sorry, adjectives with to. We can use to to show the connection between people or things. Um, like he's married to the director, um, addicted to my phone, I'm allergic to nuts. It is similar to the old one. Also here, we can use to to talk about someone's behavior towards someone else. Like, they were really friendly to me. Was he nice to you? He's always polite to everyone. She was very rude to the waitress. Now, for. I'll give you some examples here. Exercise is good. Sorry, <laughs> exercise is good for you. Stress is bad for you. Uh, he in these two sentences as if we are like explaining something. The town is famous for it is cheese. I'm responsible for the financial side of the business. Now the preposition N, and here I give you extra examples uh, for the prepositions about and of, and here you have an example for the preposition with. Now here let's go back to the preposition N. She is interested in the project. They want someone who's experienced in design. I didn't want to get involved in the argument. Now here I um, let's see uh, let's um, this is like a quest for you okay so I'll give you enough time to think about these examples from one to ten to, to ten sorry uh, you have to use these prepositions and I hope you all the best grade six.
and cannot wait to see you again in another class inshallah i will tell you on our group what is your next homework thank you everyone